Hello, welcome or welcome back to True Seekers Tea. My name is Kate and I'm so thankful to have you here for today's pick a card reading. We're going to be looking at essentially WTF is going on in this connection. We're going to be looking at your side of things, your thoughts, feelings, and desires versus your person's thoughts, feelings, and desires to try to piece together what's overall going on and to give you guys a better idea of well, maybe your own feelings um, or just to kind of put words to what you guys are going through and then to help you understand your person's energy. So there will be an extended reading. We're going to be looking at the future of this connection. So if you guys are curious about that, I will have it linked in the description box right above the timestamps. So we'll be doing the same format. Your, your thoughts, feelings and desires versus theirs. Um, but in the future. So um, we'll be doing that, getting messages from your person and then some guidance for both of you. So there are three piles to choose from. For pile number one, we have the Mystic Mondays Tarot with this blue calcite palm stone. For pile number two, we have the Neoteric Feminine Tarot with this orange calcite raw crystal. And for pile number three, we have the black tarot with this green fluorite palm stone. So go ahead and take the time you need to tune into which pile you're feeling the most drawn to. Um, there should be a pretty um, good energy check-in when we're looking at your side of things. So hopefully that side will resonate. If you feel like you're resonating more with the other side, you can always switch the um, reading if you feel like that makes more sense for you. So... I will have the timestamps linked down below, the extended readings, I'll have these decks linked and any other information about me. But other than that, I'm excited to get into your pile and I will see you there. Hello, pile number one. If you chose the Mystic Mondays Tarot with this blue calcite palm stone, this is gonna be a reading where it's essentially WTF is going on in this connection. Um, in other words, it'll be We'll be looking at your side of the connection and we'll be looking at their side. We'll be looking at thoughts, feelings, and then desires. So I'm just going to get this in the corner. So, okay. So let's start off with your energy. We're going to be looking at first your thoughts about this connection. So Spirit, please tune me in to pile number one. What are pile number one's current thoughts about this connection and this person? Just got a little distracted. I just moved into a new apartment, so there's more noise. Um, pollution where I am. So I'll probably have to get something where I can um, mute the background noise or some sort of technology. I'll have to look into that. But anyways, let's tune into pile number one's energy. What are pile number one's current thoughts about this person? What are their thoughts? All right, the five of wands in the reverse. What are pile number one's current thoughts? We have the chariot in reverse. Right, we have the lovers with the uh, seven of pentacles in reverse. Okay. So for your thoughts, I'm getting this energy where you definitely think about how this connection is blocked or as of right now, it just seems like there isn't really a way to move forward. Like, I feel like you don't really know what to do. I feel like you don't, I feel like you intuitively or just based on what's happened in the connection, especially if there's been any kind of obvious conflict, um, there's a lack of balance in the connection, so it can't move forward. But this could also be a lack of communication, a lack of, um, it could even be external factors that are blocking this connection from moving forward but with the lovers here we also have gemini energy and cancer 
with this lovers, I feel like you think about how this person is someone that this is a significant connection to you. This is someone you do view as potentially a counterpart or someone that you do have a lot of love for. And you may feel that, or you may think about how there is a lot of love, but it's also this energy where it's like with the seven of pentacles in reverse for me, this is always talking about the main theme of your thoughts is like there being a blockage to moving forward, despite the fact that there's love or it's like, or it's like the most loving thing that you can do maybe, or the, like in the connection is to not force it to push forward if um, it isn't something that's like bearing fruit. Because the Seven of Pentacles in reverse is a investment card for me, or um, it's like this energy around like having patience. And it could be that you guys, you've already had patience for this connection and your thoughts are getting to a point where now it's reaching an energy that it's becoming clear that to continue to put energy into this connection is not going to bear the fruit that you want from the connection. All right, I'm going to look at their thoughts. I'm going to go back and forth um, between the energies. So, Spirit, please send me into pile number one's person. What is pile number one's person's thoughts like? What is pile number one's person's, what are they thinking about when it comes to pile number one and the connection? What's their person's thoughts? All right, we have the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Cups. Just want to make sure we're in view. Okay. Interesting. It feels like this person's immediately coming through in a little bit more of a um, immature kind of an energy, I would say. All right. What else is pile number one's person's thoughts like? Chariot in reverse. Interesting. In the same position. What are their thoughts? One more for pile number one's person. Eight of Pentacles. Interesting. All right. Sorry, I just wanted to pause because the noise outside was getting really loud. But yeah, we have the Five of Wands also at the back of the deck here. So there definitely could be an energy around not like being at odds with this person or like there's a, I feel like there's a sense of coming from a different angle. And I definitely see that because we have the lovers on your side. And for me, the lovers is also about balance and values and like the way you kind of live your life with the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Cups. I feel like this person, this is coming through as like a little bit non-committal or someone who like, and I just want to like say, honestly, what's coming through is like someone who may like want to keep their options open or someone who doesn't know exactly what it is they want. And they're kind of in this stage of wanting to just like take action. Um, and I'm get, kind of getting like wherever the wind blows with all these different um, cups here. And I, I notice that these are like drinks too. So this person could, I'm just getting kind of a lifestyle that's more I don't know, kind of young or just like someone that maybe is still kind of getting to know themselves. But with the eight of pentacles here, for me, this, I feel like this person is think is maybe very focused on their work or is feeling like, like they might be juggling a lot when it comes to what their priorities are, especially with the seven of cups. So I just feel like this person thinks about how they don't know exactly what they want. And that might be an aspect of why this connection can't move forward. Um, and so, yeah, I feel like within your thoughts, there's this energy, maybe with the lovers here too, you might be feeling like, like this is more of a reflection of your energy, a sense of like wanting more than what this connection is giving. Like, it's almost like your thoughts are clear that this isn't turning into a very, um, mutual and loving relationship. It, it seems like it's feeling 
maybe more one-sided or just like you guys are at odds, like you don't have the same idea of what you want and that's why it can't move forward. Cause yeah, but both of you guys think about how, and I'm kind of getting like each of you having your own stance and feeling like justifying your own energy. And I feel like with you, and it kind of just feels like wanting different things or just being in a different, being in a different space in life. Because I just feel like with your energy, it's like, I feel like you don't really want to argue with this person. And I feel like even, yeah, even though you might be looking for, I feel like you guys are maybe looking for a situation that has this lover's energy, right? Which I think we all are, but it's like, for me, that would show that you're more in tune with your values. You're in tune with what you're looking for, or you've been figuring that out. Like, it just seems like in your thoughts, it's like, okay, is, does this person really mirror my values? Is that, does that really, is that compatible with me? And so I just kind of feel like you're more relationship oriented in your thoughts and they're more self oriented where it's like, they're thinking about themselves and, and their life and what they want to do. And it's like the Knight of wands. It's not the King of wands. It's not having this full vision. And, and I feel like with you, it's like, I know what I want for a relationship and I'm thinking about me balance with someone else. And I feel like that's just not what the other person's thinking. So yeah. And if this is resonating right now, um, a way that you can help the videos be more specific to your situation is through energy transference. And that is things like liking the video, leaving a comment and subscribing are all ways that I'm able to better connect with your energy. And it also supports my channel. So I appreciate those of you that do that. Get a sip of water. All right, let's look at your feelings now. How is pal number one feeling about their person? Or pal number one's feelings. Queen of Wands in reverse. King of Wands in reverse. Interesting. So again, we have we have the lovers, then we have this like mirroring kind of an energy, uh, counterpart energy, but it is in reverse. All right, what is pile number one's feelings towards their person and the connection? What are their feelings? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Cups. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, okay. I kind of am getting this energy of like this person being the King of Wands in reverse or aka like a, a knight of wands like I feel like you can almost be like demoted it almost feels like it's dragging you down is kind of what I'm getting like because the queen of wands in reverse can be and and this you don't have to resonate with every aspect of this but for me the queen of wands in reverse is an energy where she loses her confidence or like it's like too much fire too much water where she feels um like she's not being seen she's not being appreciated she doesn't feel like as confident anymore um or there can be an energy where she's like angry um and so for some of you, you guys might be reacting to this by becoming more hyper independent in your feelings or some of you might be feeling more codependent with this person um if if you if you're feeling that the water suit is stronger right now than the fire like it might be this energy of i'm feeling like emotionally not um Like I need more emotional fulfillment, essentially. Uh, but I want to clarify. Why is the three of cups here? Okay, we have the seven of swords. Okay, so with the feelings here, then for some of you, you could feel like there's a third party. Um, you might be concerned about in your feel like you might feel like this person, like you can't really trust them. Um, yeah, for some of you that that could be more of like an angry kind of a situation because we have the six of pentacles in reverse and it's this energy of a lack of reciprocation or where it's like, I would say overall the energy I'm getting is you guys feeling like this person maybe is not um, like self-sufficient that they're maybe they're not super secure in themselves. And so you might just feel like this person, like I'm getting this energy where like you might feel like this person like needs outside validation or it's like they live this lifestyle where they they are not super honest in relationships or they maybe like kind of sneak around or like want things to be more casual um and, and that might make some of you guys angry that they kind of 
don't really like I feel like some of you guys might think this person is selfish and like might just kind of feel like frustrated by that like like why is this person dependent on this kind of lifestyle or like these other people like why are they like that kind of and and I think for some of you that could be frustration but then underneath the frustration could be like sadness in a sense of you know but regardless there's a feeling here that like the way this person is flips you around too like with the queen of wands in reverse it's like this person has this impact on you where it's like, I, I think emotionally it's kind of a negative impact where, yeah, this person act, this person's actions and the way they treat you has this capability to kind of either make you mad or make you feel insecure in a sense, because this person isn't showing up in the way that you deserve. Like they aren't. Yeah. And it could even be that this person isn't super, For some of you, I'm just getting like, it could be possible that either some of you feel like your person is like hyper, um, like likes to be independent or likes to live the single life because Nine of Pentacles in reverse can be hyper independent. So some of you guys might think that about this person or some of you could think that they maybe live this kind of like casual lifestyle and like they want a lot of attention from other people to fill in for a like a fragile ego. And it's almost like with the King of Wands here, you guys in reverse, you guys might feel like this person does have a fragile ego or is like, this person frustrates you for sure. It's because the King of Wands in reverse is like someone who can just be like, just overly confident, but deep down insecure is like what I would say. I guess it's water. All right, I'm going to let this airplane pass. All right. For pile number one, what are their person's current feelings? We have the three of wands. We have the star in reverse. I gotta cover that. Okay. What are pile number one's person's feelings? Are the nine of wands in reverse and the high priestess in reverse? King of swords. Okay, what am I picking up here? This person seems to be out of tune. Um with themselves right now. And I am kind of getting this image of someone who stays busy or like, like it, this person could act really extroverted, but it's like, because when they spend time by themselves, that can be like where a lot of their fears come up. So I feel like this person may do what they can to not have to face themselves or not have to get too deep with themselves or go too far into their feelings. Um, I feel like in this person's feelings with the nine of wands in reverse and the star, there's a sense of, um, I feel like there's a little bit of a, dep not depression, but there's a underlying sense of, um, a lack of optimism with the star in reverse. Like this person with the nine of wands in reverse, I'm getting an energy of someone who deep down really needs to rest, really maybe needs to recuperate from certain things that have happened in their life but it's like they continue to ignore their intuition and they, I feel like they try to keep moving forward. Um, and so I feel like there's kind of an energy here where it's like, I feel like this person, the way they feel is they try to ignore their feelings about the connection or they try to, I feel like they try to distract themselves from it, but there is this sense of like, okay, well like what's next to distract themselves. So in their feelings, it's like, I'm not going to listen to my feelings. I don't want to tune into my feelings. I don't want to deal with, this like maybe a sense of exhaustion or like this because the nine of wands it's like for me th this is like the wounded warrior who keeps pushing forward it's like this person pushes forward but it's through not really resolving what's on what's really bothering them so in their thoughts it's like they're searching for dopamine they're searching for something to distract themselves like save themselves from themselves is kind of what i'm hearing and so um yeah, that's what I'm getting. So we have um, Aquarius energy here as well. Um, 
on this right side. They're distracting themselves. And I see how this three of wands is looking in the other direction. And like you guys might be feeling like this person sneaking around, but I feel like they're really just like hiding from themselves. And they're turning their intuition off. You know what I'm hearing or what I'm thinking of um, is in the Vampire Diaries, if any of you guys have seen that, if not, it's like the vampires have a capability of turning their emotions off. And it's like this off switch where it's like if they don't want to deal with their emotions, they can just turn it off. And I feel like this person is like searching for that. But when it comes to you and the connection deep down, they feel um, they feel weakened or they feel uh, like a sense of like giving up. Like this person is there's a feeling of giving up and a feeling of if they went into it, it feels like depression. It feels like a crumbling of them if they go into their feelings for for you and the connection. I think there is disappointment. Can we clarify the nine of wands in reverse for their feelings? Be the king of swords. Yeah, so they might be trying to be overly logical. Um, it, it's like they're they're trying to intellectualize their feelings rather than um, feel them. Because there's a sense of exhaustion or there's a sense of I need to be honest about where my energy is and what I need to spend some time repairing. But instead, it's almost like, no, I'm going to override that with my mind. So this person definitely could have air in their chart. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Can we clarify the High Priestess in reverse? For their feelings. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Yeah, again, it's like they're they're trying to stay in this safe zone where they don't want to deal. They're, they're in this like protecting their heart and it's like the Ace of Swords. They don't want to see the truth with the High Priestess in reverse. It's like they don't want to... They're trying to find their, their sense of security because they're afraid of um this person's afraid of change number one they're afraid of like really letting things set in and being real with themselves about where the situation is this is the kind of person who's not, trying not to like think about it um yeah let's look at um i'm actually just gonna put this back in but why is the star here in reverse Page of Swords in reverse. Yeah, there's an energy here of not being... It's like they're trying to not learn anything new. It's like they're trying to... There's an energy of um maybe holding on to the past or like not wanting to evolve as a person. It's almost like in this connection, maybe that's something that they know they need to do or like if they really process their feelings, they might have to come face to face with the fact that they need to move into the future. Like they might need to change. Like with the star, they need to like, they can't just pretend like nothing's happened, but that's what they're trying to do. And I feel like they're being very passive right now. Um, almost like waiting for things to progress or clear, but if there's an energy of spirit being like, that's work that they need to do. Um, for sure. So I'm going to get a sip of water. For the extended reading, we're going to be looking at where this connection is headed. So we're going to be looking at the future of this connection, the future in the same format. So like thoughts, feelings, and desires. So let's see um, what you currently want in the connection. Yeah, and I can see why you feel like the Seven of Swords energy is here because there is an energy of sneaking away from what they need to deal with. And it's like with the Three of Cups for me, this is like casual energy. Like it's like party energy. It's a sense of not going too deep, like a surface level kind of fun time. There's definitely a lack of trust um, that you have for this person, which you know, it's probably very justified. All right, let's look at your desires for the connection. What are pile number one's current desires for this connection, this person? We have the sun. So you want clarity to come through. Um, I feel like as much as you might be frustrated with the connection or hurt by it even, you might even be exhausted as well and like frustrated with the way things have developed. But with the sun being here, it shows me that you do hope for a more positive resolution. And the sun for me makes me think of 
like things coming to light, like maybe a better sense of understanding between the two, two of you. What else does pile number one want when it comes to this connection? We have the hermit in reverse. We have judgment in reverse. All right, we have strength in reverse and the eight of cups in reverse. Okay, 10 of wands. So some of you guys, um, and I just have to be honest because spirit's just like coming through. Um, you guys don't want to let go of this person because with judgment in reverse and hermit in reverse, you guys might also not be wanting to, um, like you may know logically at this point that this person is not, fair to you or like you know that this is exhausting with the ten of wands it's like you guys want to carry the weight and the responsibility of this because again i do feel like you have this love for this person um yeah but with the eight of cups in reverse there, there's an energy here of not wanting to come to some sort of truth or um understanding that you may need to walk away which i feel like not a lot of you are going to like that but it's like the eight of cups in reverse is an energy of trying to stay in a situation that we already know hasn't been fulfilling for us. And strength in reverse can be an energy of not wanting to face certain fears. And with the nine of pentacles, again, like this could also be coming through as you feeling pretty attached to this person, like maybe not wanting to be on your own. It's almost like this energy of like, if we go down, we go down together. I'm like hearing that where it's like some of you guys might be wanting to stick with this person even though they have this negative impact on you and with the sun this can also be like making light um in a situation where and like kind of wanting to maybe ignore the red flags or ignore and take this lightly if this isn't what you guys are doing like you know you don't have to take this part but i am getting this energy of not wanting to be alone not wanting to have to like call it quits and just process this and kind of move forward without this person. There's a resistance to that, even though it's a, then it's, we're, we have the 10 of wands, even though it's a burden. And so for some of you guys, you might have had, um, like a parental situation where you're kind of used to like sticking in situations that are like difficult where like maybe other people would walk away. Like you guys might, have some like attachment style that is rooted in um maybe some like dysfunctional behavior that your parent had and it's kind of like repeating in a relationship here only take that if that resonates um okay let's see what your person currently wants what does pal number one's person want when it comes to this connection What does pile number one person want? You have the magician. You have the king of pentacles in reverse. I just heard the song, um, I want it all. I get that love sick feeling. Um, I don't know. It's called I want it all if you Google those lyrics. But um, yeah, look at this. The king of, I feel like this person is in a very like self-focused energy because with the magician here, like, the magician is a powerful energy of like wanting to manifest and like bring about things in the physical world that you desire. And sometimes it isn't the most um, other oriented. And King of Pentacles in reverse for me could be sort of an overly materialistic idea of what they want right now. Like they may really want a sense of security. What else does Palma number one's person want? We the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I feel like this person like, I feel like they want, um, and there's a sense here of being passive with the three of wands and then the wheel of fortune. It's like they want their fortune to change. It's like they, they are, there's an energy of like maybe this person like spending a lot of time like envisioning themselves like as like very important or like wealthy. Like they might be like thinking a lot about like, well, when things turn around for me, it's going to be like this. Um, but this person seems to really want sort of... Um, they're expecting the universe to shift, especially if things have been like in a negative cycle for this person. It's like they almost want the universe external factors to do the work for them. Like it's like they just want to put their wish on the universe and they want the universe to come through and bring it to them. We also have the higher font here. 
several major arcana but yeah with the hierophant we have taurus energy and jupiter it's like jupiter taurus there's a materialistic um feeling to your person um a sense of like wanting to i feel like this person like wants authority or it's like they want this person is feels like they're very focused on the physical or like they they feel like a lot of their problems will be resolved like their emotional problems will be resolved if they can become more wealthy. And I feel like, again, this person just feels very self-focused. So I just want to ask them, like, what, what about the connection itself? Like, what are their thoughts about that? We have the five of wands. Yeah, there's an energy. Okay, so this person, I feel like they're in their ego. I feel like this person doesn't want to back down from their position. This person feels very strongly rooted in their position, like they're right. Like they want to stand very true to their values. Um, and there's a stubbornness too, where like they don't want, there's a sense here of like, they want to prove you right. Like there's an energy of, it's like deep down this person cares because the fact that they're even um wanting to like prove you right or prove themselves right to you shows that they, they like you impact this person's ego. And I feel like this person's like in this ego sort of energy running away from themselves. And because they're running away from themselves, they're not really... I feel like they're not really seeing you clearly. I feel like they're not seeing the connection clearly. I feel like this person's very self-focused. Um, and I think this person's afraid of like the emotional connection or like the emotions you might feel for them. Like they might feel threatened by that almost because it might bring out a softer side to them that they're not comfortable with. And so this person might push you away or blame you, but it has so much more to do with this person. I just want to get a couple um, of these cards. What does pile number one really need to understand about their person and like their energy? What's the root of pile number one person's energy? What's the reason? Um, what's the root cause of this kind of um, self-focused energy? It says, I forgive myself for fearing I may become complacent should I celebrate and enjoy my accomplishments. I choose to believe that celebration incites powerful presence that perpetuates joy and allows effortless alignment with my highest potential. There's an energy here of like, I don't want to slow down. Um, and there's kind of like a more, more, more energy as well. Or like, I don't want to say that I'm it's like this person's afraid of becoming, but again, it's like an ego thing. It's like, I'm afraid of becoming irrelevant. I'm afraid of, um, I'm afraid that I, I need to keep proving myself. There's a sense of that. It says, I forgive myself for thinking what I want is more important than what I need. Yeah. And so there's a sense here of materialism and like more, more, more. And it's like, okay, I want all this stuff. It's like, this person's like imagining, like, I feel like this person has like, not like delusions of grandeur, but kind of like, a, like maybe for some of you, but there's kind of a sense of imagining themselves getting more and more important, more stuff. Like, um, but in the meantime, like, I feel like I've been reading the whole time. It's like what this person needs is to tune into themselves. They need to take a break. Yeah. And there's, they might be a workaholic. It's like, they might continue to push themselves to work and like, they're afraid of slowing down and just like, because again, it's like they're afraid of doing anything where they slow down. And even if it's celebrating what they've gotten so far, it's like they're afraid of doing that even because then they slow down. This person feels like they have to be in like constant motion, like thinking of what's next or like what, what more do I want? And so it says, I choose to believe that what I think I want is not necessarily reflective of my truest desires. I'm constantly receiving what I need in order to clarify those desires. Okay, and then we have, I forgive myself for thinking that others are more worthy of living their dream life than I am. I choose to believe that I deserve to live my dream life as it is through the realization of my desires, I become a vehicle for the expression of life's mystical essence. Okay. Um, okay, so I feel like this person may have like an attachment to struggling in a sense or like I need to work really hard like I can't just 
take a break. I can't just focus on love. I can't just focus on myself. Um, other people are, can do that, but but I I am not in that category. And they may have had parents that push them really hard or are really strict with them because there's kind of a sense of this person suffering, feeling exhausted, out of touch with themselves, but not recognizing that maybe they should make some shifts in their day-to-day -day life. Like maybe they're not super happy they need to take, there's energy here needing to take the data from their intuition. And for me, that's like, how do you feel every day? Like, what does your heart want? Like, are you exhausted every day feeling out of touch with yourself? And like your, your feminine side is begging you to make a change, but your logical masculine side is like, no, we have to stick to this linear path. We have to do it this way, even though I'm miserable. It's kind of like that, like an energy of not honoring the feminine. And so I feel like your person is very, um, repress in their feminine energy because yeah the, all of these cards are about like needing to receive what you need like just trusting that your needs will be met and you don't have to go keep going to like prove you're worthy of it and that's a very masculine way so I feel like there's kind of this energy that they're in that impacts the connection where especially if you bring this feminine energy towards them and they might not have had a very good feminine force in their life that showed them that they're it's okay to receive it's okay like you're innately worthy right that's the feminine the masculine proves it's worthy and by doing right and so this person is like doing doing but ma the feminine is just being and so I feel like if you try to offer this person unconditional love that isn't you know harsh it, it can make this person uncomfortable because I don't think they know how to receive that I think that that triggers them because they need to process that they that their feminine side is begging them to see their own worth outside of um, outside of what they do or what they become or what their status is. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. Um, I'm going to take into the extended. Again, we're going to be looking at the future of this connection um, from both sides, where you guys are both going to be at um, in the future. So if you guys want to check that out, I will have it linked in the description box. Other than that, thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you for tuning in and um, hit the like button, leave a comment. Um, if it resonated, subscribe so you don't miss the next pick a card reading. And I hope to connect with you again sometime soon. Hello, pal number two. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the Neoteric Feminine Tarot and this orange calcite raw crystal. This is going to be a reading where we're looking at WTF is going on in this connection. So essentially on the left side, we'll be looking at your thoughts, feelings, and desires. And then we'll be also looking at your person's thoughts, feelings, and desires. So I'm actually going to start with your side, but we're going to go back and forth. So I'm going to save this deck for your person's energy. I'm going to use... Um, this deck. So I believe this is the Witch's Garden Tarot. All right, so please tune me in to pile number two's energy. Did I say pile number one? Hmm. Pile number two's energy, please. Please tune me into the connection that is most on pile number two's heart and mind, the connection they need the most clarity on. Please bring through the most honest and helpful information for everyone's highest good. Please help pile number two feel confident that this is their reading. All right. What are pile number two's current thoughts about their person? Just gonna make sure we're in a good spot. Okay. What are pile number two's current thoughts? about this person. Right, we have temperance. I also saw the sun try to pop out. So we have Sagittarius energy. We have the queen of wands. What are pile number two's current thoughts in regards to their person? The seven of swords in reverse. All right, we have the Ace of Wands here. Okay, interesting. So I'm getting a pretty positive energy coming through. I feel like, um, yeah, I'm getting that this could be someone that 
Um, this person could be newer. They don't have to be, but I'm getting a sense that what I'm feeling is almost this energy of like someone talking to their friend and saying, you know what, like I met this person or I know this person. And I honestly think that they like fingers crossed that this might actually be a good one. And so maybe some, some of you guys have like a history of, well, I think we all semi do, but I just feel like you guys, it feels like you've gone through a journey of self-empowerment with the queen of wands here. And I feel like with temperance, there's just this feeling of you sitting in your own energy in a very balanced way and being very realistic with yourself. I feel like there's a very high vibrational energy coming through where it's like, I feel like you guys may have spent time on your own, maybe spent time single, but there's just this energy of self-confidence and self-worth, um, even self-compassion coming through. And with the Ace of Wands here, I feel like you, this could be a passionate new beginning or someone that you feel attracted to, um, you know, and it could be like the first person for a while, but or the first person that you feel, um, it's almost like when we get into a more balanced state, like where we're showing ourselves more love and we're more aware of our worth, we're less likely, I feel like, to maybe lie to ourselves or ignore red flags or just kind of get caught up in relationships that are more reflective of our wounds. And so with the seven of swords in reverse, there's kind of this energy of like, I want to make sure that I'm not um, kidding myself or that I'm not being delusional. Like there's a sense of, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling calm. I'm not in this dysregulated state where I feel like addicted to a person or like almost overly intense about them. But there is this feeling of attraction and potentially a new beginning. But with the seven of swords in reverse, there is this feeling of, um, I want to make sure I'm not deluding myself. So let's see where your person's thoughts are at. I'm hearing a song that's like, oh, um, we got plenty of time. It's like she's got uh, sunshine in her eyes. What song is that? It's like home is where I want to be. Pick me up and turn around. Um, I go numb. But it's like there's an energy of like, I got plenty of time. And there's kind of a positive vibe coming through like, like, it feels like summer and spring. It feels like, um, oh, now I'm hearing loving is easy. So, yeah, I feel like if you, let's get into your person's energy before I get too much further. Um, and if you guys don't feel like this is your pile, that's totally fine. Um, I want to check out a different pile if this just does not feel like the vibe of the person you're asking about. All right, but let's see what your person's current thoughts are in regards to you and the connection with you. What are pile number two's person's thoughts? Okay, we have the seven of swords coming out first. Interesting. Ten of cups. I feel like you might be mirroring this person where it's like, is this too good to be true? Nine of pentacles. Ace of Wands, look at that. Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands. Really beautiful reading. And the Hermit at the back of the deck. What's at the back of your deck? We have the Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you guys, you guys feel like you've been on your own journey of figuring out who you are and like maybe self-discovery, just like coming out of any sort of conditioning or projections you've had put on you by society, by um, our culture. And I feel like your person's energy is mirroring you because we literally have the nine of pentacles and I'm picking up the nine of pentacles for your energy too. But this is someone who um, feels also very positive about you, but it's almost like you're mirroring each other where it's like with the hermit here, I'm not surprised you had two pentacles. There's such a balanced energy coming through where it's like each of you have learned to um, be independent. And so there's just this high vibrational energy of like, I'm not coming to this relationship 
to distract myself or like the trauma bond. It's like, I've already been through that and I found happiness within myself. Your person is mirroring this energy. And so it's almost like after a, a, a time period, it feels like for your person, especially of maybe again, like being single, maybe not, um, spending more time on your own, getting to know yourself. Like, I feel like that's what your person's been going through. And it's like, it feels like it's all in service of the foundation for a healthy relationship. And so the seven of swords, I'm getting the message that your person also is afraid or in their thoughts, they're like, is this too good to be true? Like, cause with the ace of wands, it's like, you guys both feel this passion for each other. You feel like there's sort of a spark between you. Um, but I feel like each of you have experienced where that can be deceiving, or it's like, you guys probably both have, you know, felt a sense of passion or like clicked with someone. And it's like kind of that feeling of like, okay, I, I want to be careful um, because I don't want to lose myself. I'm hearing again, I don't want to lose myself again. Um, something I'm feeling this person, there's, there's a slight energy here of like, I feel like your person has coped somewhat and this feels like you guys are maybe first getting to know each other or like I don't know how deep it is into the connection um but there's a sense of um it feels like your person's been living like very drama free and so I feel like there is this part of them that's a little bit hesitant or is almost like prepared to um what's the like they're prepared to protect their peace is what I would say. And I feel like you are too, though, with the seven of swords in reverse. Um, so it's almost like you feel like you're in your thoughts. You're more like, I don't want to deceive myself. Um, or like, and I want to stay true to myself. Like, I don't want to get caught up in another person. And I don't want that person to like dysregulate me. Your person is more like comfortable being on their own. It feels like, it feels like they have a lot of balance in their life. And so there's almost this energy of like them being tentative about this like passion as well, even though they're, they're drawn to you and they're like, they're very, um, the feelings are very mutual, but this person in their thoughts also thinks about like their independence and thinks about how they, they want this happiness, this 10 of cups, but there's also like this reflection of like, I, I am almost a, like, I don't know if I want to give up my peace. Right. Or like, I don't know if I am, it's not like they're not ready. There's just like this, it's, it's like, a phase is ending and so it's like a change it would be a change and I feel like when there's a change it's kind of like we're always slightly afraid no matter like how much we heal that we just really hope that it's not going to go in the way it's gone in the past but I'm not feeling from either of you that you're like closed down to the connection because there's such a confidence coming through and I just think that this is exciting like I'm happy to see such a positive energy um coming through here get a sip of water and then we'll get into feelings and so if this is resonating for you, one of the best ways that I'm able to tune into your energy is actually through energy transference, which is where if you guys like the video, leave a comment, subscribe. Those are all ways that I'm better able to connect with you. And it also supports my channel. So thank you all. Um, thank all of you that do that. All right. Pile number two. How is pile number two currently feeling? Yeah, Knight of Wands, a lot of passion. Um, I think you're feeling excited about this person. I think you're feeling very drawn to them, um, very attracted to this person, like excited. Like I feel like this person is, especially if you guys have been focusing on balancing yourself out and kind of alchemizing whatever you've been through in your past, everything like that. I feel like you guys are closing a chapter as well. And it's like, maybe you you're coming out of a time like maybe it's a winter or it's almost like you've been there's been less action but that's just like the phase of life you've been in and I feel like this person is stirring like a sense of like waking up again like it's that energy of like spring all right um how else is pile number two currently feeling towards their person's connection Ooh, we have the devil we have the ace of cups reverse let's get one more all right with the nine of cups in reverse 
yeah and so i'm just getting this feeling about like i am afraid this is coming through even more it's like it's like because there's passion here and it's stirring this sense of um like this is just backing up what i was getting because it's like i'm not surprised to see the devil's energy because it's like there's a fear of being chained to someone or or falling into something codependent getting drained of your energy right like with the nine of or with the ace of cups in reverse for me this is a reflection of an energy you guys are aware of that has like an imprint on your psyche where it's like i don't like i've been drained by others before when i let other people in like when i felt this level of passion and attraction it feels like it's always a recipe for pain and like suffering and it's almost this energy of like i put in, i put in so much work to get to where i am that i'm almost afraid to fully let myself want this i'm afraid to I'm afraid that I can't trust what I want. Like there's almost a, a slight fear or like a correlation of, and now I'm hearing like the song um, by the Smiths where it's like, let me get what I want um, this time. And so there's kind of an energy of like um, feeling like in the past, you maybe have learned a lot of lessons where it's like you might have been very drawn to someone or felt like this, like a person was your wish fulfillment. So it's almost like this correlation between emotional fulfillment and like going after like what your dream is or like what you what you really in your heart wants. Um, and like a correlation between that and like getting drained and like feeling like it's always like a recipe for suffering and attachment and yeah, that kind of an energy. Um, and it's like you might have lost your confidence through that in the past. And so it almost feels like there's like, it's interesting. But let's get into your person's energy to see where their feelings are. What, what are your problem number two's person's current feelings? I keep hearing that song that's like, oh, we drifting it out. I think that's what it says. All right. Um, I'm not going to take that because it was not ready. Okay. So what are Paul number two's person's current feelings? For them, the connection. How are they currently feeling? Here's the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there's an energy of like things are looking up. Um, there's such a, there's a mirroring energy between the two of you, which I feel like might be a relief because I feel like this person would really understand your fears. Um, and like, they, I feel like they would understand your past and like they would not hold it against you. I feel like this person very much understands, would understand your past because I feel like they've experienced something similar. But with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like this person is feeling like things might be looking up for them. Like, cause when the wheel of fortunes in reverse, it's almost, and I feel like each of you might be coming out of that. That's what I've been trying to explain is like this feeling of almost not trusting in events. Cause we're used to life events being like lessons or just like kind of learning to rely on yourself rather than expecting external events to bring you happiness. Right. And so there's almost like there's such a self-reliant kind of an energy that I feel like has become a um, comfort zone, but it's like an adaptive comfort zone that is a good skill to have, but it's like almost like spirits coming through to show you guys. And maybe this other person is kind of like, I'm getting like the light uh, or the, what is it called? Like the light at the end of the tunnel or like the, the prize, the gift, the um, it's like what you get for going through what you've gone through and like, yeah. Anyways, I feel like there's good karma that each of you have right now. So um, what else is Polymer 2's person currently feeling? Yeah, we have the Six of Swords. It's like things are looking up. Things are getting better. I feel like I'm moving away from troubled times. Like, like yeah. And it's like the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Wands. I feel like there's been a time of burden that this person's gone through where it's like things like just weren't working out for them or it's like, they couldn't trust in situations, um, but it's like this energy of, okay, I'm moving in a positive direction. Um, and they, they feel, they see this as, um, 
they, sorry, I'm just getting something with the seven swords, seven of swords coming through, but it's like, they see this as everything's looking up for them or this connection feels very promising to them. Yeah. We have temperance here as well. So we have Capricorn energy on the left side, Sagittarius, um, more kind of Sagittarius or Jupiter energy on this side, but yeah, it's almost like, imagine you guys were going through like a Saturn return where it's like, you learn hard lessons or it's just like, there's a lot of restriction. You have to work really hard. Um, but then the rewards are really good, right? Like Saturn will reward you if you do the work that you're supposed to. And it's like, you don't get very much outside assistance for that. Um, but with the seven of swords here, I feel like this person's used to having to be strategic, but I feel like in their thoughts, they are strategizing. Um, like, although they're independent, there's kind of an energy here though, that they, they still are looking for this 10 of cups. Like they have a strategy, but it's not coming through in like a deceitful or negative way, like at all. All right. For pile number, okay. Uh, we have the ace of pentacles in reverse. How is pile number two's person currently feeling? We have the page of swords. All right, I just want to clarify. Um, I feel like, well, with the Page of Swords here, I feel like this person is very, um, like, curious about you. I feel like this person is feeling like this is, like, a new day. Like, they get to explore. Like, especially if this person's been, like, in a more hermit kind of time period, I feel like they've been more inwardly focused. It's, like, you feel like you're sparking their sense of um, curiosity. And it's, like, they want to get to know you. Um, but I want to see, why is the Ace of Pentacles here in the reverse? We have the High Priestess. Okay, so I feel like this person is looking out for any sign. Um, this person is very tuned in as well. Listening to their intuition about what opportunities they should take and what they shouldn't. I feel like this person has learned a lot of lessons um, around miss like opportunities that don't go anywhere and so i feel like this person is um trying to listen to their intuition and honestly their intellect and like it's like they're trying to take their past experience um and they're it feels like yeah they're moving on from maybe a time period where something didn't go right like they might have tried out a job and it didn't work or they might have been in a relationship that like fell through it just feels like something fell through in their life and so they're kind of coming out of a time period of like missed opportunity feeling like things weren't going their way um, and so I feel like this person is also, is kind of also hype, not like hyper vigilant, but they're, they're actually optimistic. Like, I feel like things are looking up for me. I feel like I've learned my lesson around what to look out for, like how to not miss the signs. Cause like with the high priestess, I'm getting an energy of maybe this person has learned how to listen to their intuition, especially if in the past, like they might've learned lessons around like not ignoring red flags or making sure that you vet situations properly before you invest in them, making sure that the people that you trust are trustworthy. Right. Um, and I feel like with this seven of swords energy, it's almost like they've dealt with other seven of swords kinds of people like deceitful or people who had a lot of strategy with them or, or a lot of hidden agendas. I feel like this person is not like that, but it's almost like they've learned that side. And it's like, now they use it in like a positive way though. We're like, they know how to be more tactful, how to be more, I'm almost like want to use the, like, I don't know exactly how to describe it, but it's like they, they aren't just doing things willy nilly. Like, I feel like they're more aware of, um, like the, it's like a logical kind of a thing or it's like a strategy, but not in a way where they're trying to hide something. It's just like, they've just learned the way of the world a bit better. Um, and it's like they, I, I feel like they've become more self-sufficient. So especially I'm kind of getting this energy from your person where it's like in the past, they may have um, given people too much benefit of the doubt, or it's like, they may have like, I, I, I don't know if it's like relied on other people, but it's like they, I feel like they wanted to rely and trust people that didn't deserve that or like had red flags is what I'm kind of getting. And it's like the more independent they've, they've come, the more, um, what's the word, the more ability or the more capacity they have to have boundaries and like, and, and to walk away from situations because I feel like in the past, maybe they, they didn't have as much confidence in themselves or they maybe felt like they needed the approval of certain people or they needed something from them. But again, it's like this independence and knowing your own value. 
um, with the Nine of Pentacles. All right. Let's see what you are currently desiring. And also, so for the extended reading, we're going to be looking at the future of this connection. We're going to be seeing um, basically the same exact spread, but like for the future. So around like maybe six months or like whenever the next prominent stage of this connection is like, just so you can know what's happening. Where is this connection headed essentially? Like what's the future? Um, so we'll be doing the same spread, but essentially your future thoughts, their future thoughts, etc. All right, let's now look. I just want to make sure that, okay, let me. There we go. All right, there's an airplane passing. And I'm also noticing in this Ace of Cups, like there's like a, a pentacle falling out and it's like kind of mirroring this spot right here like a pentacle falling down and so again it feels like value being like taken or it's almost like value being lost um yeah I ju i'm just seeing that a lot of mirroring here all right i don't know if youtube is gonna like care i'm just gonna put this here okay so for pile number two, what are, what does pile number two currently want when it comes to this connection, this person, what are their current desires? All right. We have the eight of swords in reverse. Yeah. So there's a lot here about, um, I feel like something that's very important to you guys is making sure that you're staying independent and that you're not feeling like trapped in any kind of a situation or like victimized by anything. I feel like you guys do not, you guys are very cautious of that. So no matter what you get involved with, you're, you, what's a top priority for you is your freedom, your clarity and not getting like trapped in your head in a sense or trapped, trapped um, with other people's expectations. Or again, like with the devil's energy, it's like sometimes the eight of swords plus the devil can be kind of like these ties where it's like, we feel like obligated in certain ways or like we can feel guilty or like we can't do certain things or like we we're, we're dependent on something. And so we feel trapped, right? Um, what else for pile number two? What do they want? What are they currently desiring? Take this. We have the Knight of pentacles. Yeah. I feel like you guys want something steady. This is coming through a lot, um, but I feel like you guys want something reliable, something that's steady, something that doesn't move too quickly um something where you can get to know the other person it's like a slow burn a slow build i feel like you guys are concerned about some intensity yeah we have the king of pentacles as well so and i saw the king of pentacles actually at the um the back of the deck with here and so i feel like there is this sense of like wanting security wanting someone who um can provide someone that is going to be reliable someone who is self-sufficient um, someone who isn't, um, like I'm almost like, I'm not getting like needy, but so someone who has the capacity to care for you, provide for you, um, just be reliable for you, provide a sense of security. I feel like security is just really important to you guys right now and feeling supported. And I feel like the queen of pentacles also was at the back of the deck for a second. So I just feel like you guys might be just it's important that you guys are feeling grounded, feeling safe, secure um, in a connection right now. What else for pile number two? What do they currently want? All right. Yeah, we have the four of pentacles in the reverse. Again, it's like security. There's a sense of I don't want to be pushed out of my comfort zone. I don't want not even in my comfort zone in a bad way. Like you don't want some sort of past to repeat, but you also feel I feel like you want to slowly come out of your shell once there's established security or commitment or reliability. Like, like yeah, that, that's what's really important to you out of anything. Yeah, Ten of Swords in Reverse. Again, it feels like there is some sort of healing that you guys have been going through, especially with temperance. Okay. Let's see what your person is currently... Um, desiring when it comes to you and the connection. What does pile number two's person currently want when it comes to this connection? Um, when it comes to pile number two, what are their current desires? All right, the page of cups in reverse. All right, 
we have the hermit, we have the star, and then we also have death in reverse. Okay. Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, I have to cover this. I didn't get my little stones out. Okay, so I feel like what um, your person wants is def I feel like your person is definitely still healing. I feel like they have a positive idea of where this connection can go in the future. I feel like they want to, um, I feel like they want to heal with the death in reverse and the page of cups in reverse. I feel like this person is still healing, especially with the six of swords. They may still have um, some baggage to sort through. So I feel like your person is wanting to avoid, um, similar to you though, like, repeating any past patterns, um, or getting stuck. I feel like this person is trying to shed a version of themselves. Um, and so I feel like that's requiring them to go within. We have Virgo and then we also have Aquarius. Like, I feel like this person's in the process of a transformation right now. And so I feel like they're, they aren't, okay. What I'm getting is it's almost like this person feels like they might need a little bit more time. So they, so they can kind of finish a process of transformation. Like, I feel like this person is stepping into a new self, essentially, but they're still letting go of their past. And so I feel like they're still in this process of redefining themselves um, and figuring out who they are, right? Like, especially if, like the star comes after the tower. So I feel like this person has had certain um, situations fall apart and so I feel like they're still in this process of learning they feel like things are getting better for them but I'm literally hearing he has a lot to learn before he's ready to save anyone but I believe Aang can save the world so I'm getting like an innocent energy but I'm, I am getting that this person does want to complete some kind of process of transformation around letting go of their past and letting go of who they were in the past and making sure that they don't go back to that um with the page of cups in reverse I feel like there's an energy of letting go of a maybe emotionally naive kind of an energy or an ener again an energy that's a little bit too open to other people too optimistic like with the ten of cups it's like i feel like this person maybe has has had the potential in the past to be very like idealistic about people and so i feel like this person is wanting to make sure that they're staying in touch with themselves um making sure that they're completing this process of transformation on their own yeah, Knight of Wands in reverse, Five of Cups. Again, it's like they don't want to take action until they've kind of processed what's gone on in their past. They could still be dealing with some grief um, about what's happened in the past. Um, yeah. Can we clarify the death in reverse? Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Okay, yeah. So again, it's like, it, there's just like a burden that this person seems to still be carrying. And it's like, before they can move forward, there's almost a sense of, um, I need to let go of what I'm carrying. Like, I'm carrying too much. And I, I'm kind of hearing like those quotes where it's like, you're not meant to carry all of this. Or it's like, you know, those quotes just around like healing and, and, and like maybe grief or um, just like, almost like when you let go, you feel much lighter. Um, when you, when you start healing, it's like this person wants to heal. They want to feel lighter. They want to feel like they're in touch with themselves again. They want to feel empowered within themselves. And it's like, they want to be free. Um, I think before they would want to start something. So it's like, you each kind of have your own journeys that are, it's almost like if I was going to say, um, like readiness for a full on relationship, it feels like each of you are like three fourths of the way. Um, maybe you're slightly ahead, but I feel like you're going to be in this energy of needing to be, um, more open and, um, maybe more trusting of other people. I feel like this person is needing to be more discerning with other people and more trusting of themselves. Like, I feel like this person is learning self-trust, um, is learning to let go of like what isn't theirs. Like, I feel like this person could be the kind of person that like blames themselves for certain things. Um, 
feels like everything's their fault. I feel like they're, yeah, they're let, they're healing and letting go of this idea that they are responsible for other people. Um, especially with the nine of pentacles here, it's like, they're, yeah, they're learning that they don't have to carry so much guilt, um, or like a sense of failure even. And it's like, they're working on their self-esteem, their ability to trust themselves. Um, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm seeing here. So I'm going to take it into the extended again, where we're going to be looking at where this connection is headed. Where is it going to be at in the future in regards to both of your thoughts, feelings, and desires? So I'm going to be roughly looking at three to six months from now, but whatever spirit wants to show me is what I'll be looking at. So again, if you guys want these readings to be more specific for your situation, a way you can better connect my energy and I can better connect with yours is through liking the video, leaving a comment and subscribing. So thank you so much for your time. I really enjoyed reading for you and I hope to connect with you again soon. Hello, pile number three, welcome to your reading. If you chose the black tarot with this green fluorite palm stone, this is gonna be your reading where we're looking at WTF is going on in this connection. So we're gonna be looking at you versus your person. We'll be doing your energy on the left side, comparing it to their energy on the right side. We'll be looking at thoughts, feelings, and desires. So this is actually going to be the deck I'm using for your person's energy. Let me use this deck for yours. So we'll get a sip of water and then we'll get started. Okay. So for pile number three, Spirit, please tune me into pile number three's energy. What are pile number three? What's pile number three's current energy towards their person? Also tune me into the connection that is most relevant to pile number three's heart and mind. Please tune me into the connection that they're most curious about, the one that they need the most clarity on. Please also help them tune into this reading so they can know um, that this is their pile. Please help confirm that for them. All right, what are pile number three's current thoughts about this person in the connection with them? All right, we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. We have the Hierophant in the reverse. We have Temperance in the reverse. Okay, so. Right off the bat, I'm definitely getting a heavier energy from this pile. I do feel with the Ten of Swords in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, I, I definitely feel like there is a lack of balance between you and this person. And with the Ten of Swords, it really could even be um, some kind of an ending with this person or there could have been um, even a betrayal for some of you. That doesn't have to be the case for everyone, but I'm getting with Temperance. It just makes me feel like you guys are still recovering from something that happened in this connection. Um, let me get one more. What are pile number three's current thoughts about this person? All right, we have judgment in reverse. I mean, the two of swords. Okay, I'm hearing the Taylor Swift song where it's like saying, um, and is it over now? um the, like her most popular recent song um and I'm hearing like I want to jump off a really tall something just to see you running but so I feel like your thoughts are potentially about whether or not this connection is over I feel like you may have been hurt in this connection oh one second okay sorry about that I'm getting um some wi-fi installed so there was a little bit of a um interruption here but I'm ready to tune back in. So pile number three, what are your current thoughts about this person? I feel like there's a sense, okay, with the temperance in reverse, I feel like you're still processing what happened with this person. I feel like you're not really, I feel like you're not prepared potentially to make, with the judgment in re reverse, it makes me feel like there may be something 
or some truth that you are hesitant to draw in the situation, or it may feel like there's just still a sense of disorientation around this connection and what's happened in it. Um, I feel like there's a sense of, um, of confusion potentially, but I feel like a lot of it is stemming from within and like this feeling of like, I feel like there's a, an energy of maybe back and forth or extremes within this connection that are causing like some whiplash or confusion. Yeah. We have high priestess at the back of the deck. Yeah. And I feel like your intuition, you can trust your intuition in this situation with this person, but I feel like there's an energy of being a little bit in your head or maybe second guessing what you feel to be true. Um, but let's get into your person. Let's see. Yeah. And this is interesting that this kind of energy is coming out because um, this is a very dark um, tarot deck. So let's see what your person is currently thinking and then we'll get a little more into yours. I'm even getting an energy of feeling like this person didn't turn, hasn't turned out to be who you thought they were with the Hierophant in reverse. Like you may have come to the realization that you and this person's like morals or values are, are starkly different, but you may not have recognized that initially. I'm wondering if some of you feel like the rug got ripped from underneath you where like something unexpected may have happened, um, where it's just like you're left with confusion, maybe not knowing how to move forward or um, what to even think. I feel like there's a part of you that isn't really sure yet what conclusion to draw. Um, but I feel like your intuition with the Ten of Swords coming out first is like, I feel like there could be something that happened in this connection where it's like, you may feel in your heart like there's no return, like a, it's gone to a point of no return. Um, so we have Taurus energy, we have uh, Sagittarius. Yeah, and I'm getting like Saturn and some kind of a truth um, coming to you. All right. Can you talk, tune me in to pile number three's person's energy? What are the pile number three's, what's, what is their person currently thinking in regards to them and this connection? Here we have the Queen of Wands. the five of wands you're the four of wands in reverse for some of you this could be um like a separation or like with higher fun in reverse it could be like a divorce or um needing to make maybe a judgment call um but yeah with the ten of swords being in reverse here i'm actually seeing this as an energy where there may be like reason for an ending here but there could be a part of you that doesn't want to fully move into that energy or or accept that in a sense and it's like with the two of swords for me this is a situation where it's like either way it's a hard decision so it's like staying is hard but also leaving would be hard or i'm hearing like yay or nay and it's it, it's hard to make that decision i think right now we have the queen of wands we have the five of wands the four of wands in reverse what are pile number three's person's thoughts about? Oh, we have the king of wands and the six of cups. Interesting. Yeah, so with the four of wands in reverse, I'm definitely getting that there may have been, if there was already a relationship here, which I feel like there was, there it feels like there's history in this pile, like it doesn't feel like a new connection. Um, I, I am getting that there could have been some kind of a conflict with this person. Like, I feel like the balance of the connection has been upset, but I feel like this person's thoughts are with the queen of wands. Like they, this person like feels like you're an equal match for them with the king of wands, the queen of wands. So this person thinks about you guys as um, a couple. And they also think about um, like your past and maybe they think about like wanting a reunion with you. Like, I feel like this person, um, they think about whatever, whatever you guys have disagreed on any disagreements arguments or um conflicts like if you guys with you guys maybe not seeing eye to eye and so with the higher funding reverse and the five of wands it's like you guys may have just 
And we have two wands energy here. We have queen of wands and king of wands. So it could have been like the, the fire and the connection was each person may have been fighting for um, control or control in the connection or like power. Like I, I'm getting kind of like a power struggle that may have occurred and it may have caused an, an, an upset to the balance of this connection. It may have caused there to be an unsupportive foundation for you too. So this person is thinking about how they're thinking about good memories with you. They're thinking about the past. I feel like this person is like thinking about what it was like to be with you um, and maybe a reunion, potential reunion with you. But there, it's almost like, and with the two swords, it's almost like there's two energies here where it's like, this person seems to not be happy with the state of the connection, but in their mind, I feel like they're still going over like maybe their argument versus your argument or your side of things versus their side of things. Um, and so it's like they're 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 conflicted within themselves as well because there's a mix of desire to maybe reconcile or um, have a reunion of some kind, bring balance back into the connection. But there's also this energy of wanting to get your own point across. Um, yeah. So seven of cups is back in the deck. It could be um, this person not knowing where to next. So I feel like they're thinking about like what's going to happen, what has happened. Um, and so for you guys, you guys might be feeling very, you guys might be waiting for more information so you can make a decision on this connection or, but I feel like regardless, this connection is causing you an imbalance and some kind of emotional upset as well. Um, it feels like this connection is dysregulating for you right now. And it's almost like hard to make a decision is what I'm getting when you're in a state where like, like you aren't feeling balanced. It's like, if you're not feeling balanced, it's like you, perhaps you guys don't want to rush into a judgment about this while maybe you are upset still, or you are not emotionally in, in a place of clear mind. All right, let's see how you're currently feeling. We have the King of Swords. How is pile number three feeling about their person? We have Strength. I'm hearing, um, we can work it out. And I'm hearing, like, try to see it my way. Do I have to keep on talking till I can't go on? Um, and so there's an energy of... Um, Life is very short and there's no time. So I will ask you once again. Try to see it my way. So yeah, I do. Yeah, I feel like there could just have been a really exhausting effort put into trying to get on the same page with each other. Um, but with the King of Swords and the Strength, I'm kind of getting this energy of feeling like you could come to some kind of a conclusion that like, that you could work through it, but I want to get more before I say that. So how is pal number three currently feeling towards their person, the connection? We have the six of wands in reverse. You guys might feel like this person's pride is like pretty strong or like, um, like you might even feel like, like it feels like there's an ego struggle here with like the six of wands um, in the reverse. You guys may sometimes feel like this person can be really hard headed. And it's like, you sometimes don't feel like they can like that. They fully recognize you, or they might even make you feel unseen sometimes, or make you feel like your input or your values aren't as important as theirs. And so I feel like this person, you might sometimes feel like over, like overshadowed, or it's like this person doesn't really budge. All right. What else? How's pal number three currently feeling about um, their person, this person. Yeah, 10 of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, there's a sense here of, yeah, I feel like you would, you feel like there's a need for a, an apology in this situation. Um, I feel like you, with the Five of Swords, I'm getting like a Five of Swords energy where it's like, you guys might be feeling a sense of defeat or like a sense of like this person's ego is going to come before creating harmony. And so with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, there could just be this feeling of like, I don't really feel as confident anymore in, in this connection. Like, I don't feel 
super, like, I don't feel how I felt about it in the past. And if we can't kind of reach, if we can't um, compassionately deal with our differences and because the strength is all about true power, not being in like brute force or like aggression or overpowering another person. It's like realizing that true strength comes from like controlling yourself and having kindness and compassion. And so I feel like you guys may want that in this situation. Um, but with the King of Swords, I wonder if sometimes this person like says things that are a little bit sharp or make you feel like they don't really keep your feelings in account. Uh, let me clarify that though. Why is the King of Swords here? Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. Like, I feel like this person has a way of maybe being very cutting or like putting, like I'm kind of getting an energy where it's like, this doesn't have to be specific to this person, but it's like when someone is like, well, I'm just being honest, but it's like, is it kind, you know? Or just maybe this person, when they get like triggered or they like get argumentative, like they might like put winning that and like being right and like, being like smart or intelligent, like they're, they could have an ego around being like smart and being the person that should call the shots or like is always right in a situation. Yeah. And the four of ones. And I feel like it's just creating like, um, an, like an unsupportive home environment or an unsupportive, um, grounds for a relationship. And like with the ace of cups, I'm getting an energy of being drained. Um, yeah. All right. How is pal number three's person currently feeling? And I'm just getting a lot of fire energy. And I'm also kind of feeling like, like this person might be projecting a little bit more fire energy onto you, What, which that doesn't have to be the case. But like, I feel like this person, I feel like there's kind of like a an energy, this person like triggering you and you guys might get emotional. And like, I, I just feel like the communication here is something that causes difficulties for sure. Okay, so, and this, I think this is the kind of person who gets kind of hot headed and then they might think about it later and feel kind of bad. Because with the Six of Cups being there, there's a sense of like, feel like looking back on things and, and having more emotions. But I feel like in the moment, they maybe are more fire and air and it's like, then their emotions come in later. But again, there's a lot of pride coming through. So... Yeah, and there's also this thought of, like, maybe, like, they feel like, again, like, there can only be one leader or something. And it's, like, there's a sense of um, this person not really being able to respect, like, a shared, um, like, a cooperative, shared, one-to-one -one Libran kind of a relationship. Or, like, being willing to, like, also recognize your power. All right, so for pile number three's person, how are they um, currently feeling? And by the way, if this is resonating and you want future videos to resonate more specifically to your situation, you can do that through liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing. Those are all ways that I'm better able to connect with your energy. It's through energy transference, and it also supports my channel. So thank you guys for doing that. All right, let's... And by the way, there will be an extended reading. We're going to be looking at the future of the connection, where the connection is headed, so we'll be looking at like the same three things on both sides, um, but in regards to the future. All right. So what are what what are pile number three's person's current feelings towards pile number three and the connection? All right, we have justice in reverse. We have the ace of pentacles. We have the knight of um, pentacles. We have the eight of wands and then the three of wands. Oh, I'm hearing now, um, just give me a reason. Just a little bit's enough. Um, we're not broken, just bent. We can learn to love again. It's been written in the star. All right. So with justice in reverse, this person definitely feels like there's been um, an imbalance. And so I'm seeing like we have the three of wands, the eight of wands. And then we also have the knight of wands at the back of the deck. 
Let me just spin this. So I feel like this person, I feel like they, let me just clarify a little bit. So they feel like they want to move things. It's almost like this person is trying to figure out how to create a better outcome here, how to move things forward, how to, how, this person seems like they want to, well, we'll get into what they want, but there's a sense of a desire to take some kind of an action and maybe create a new opportunity. But it's almost like this person is trying to figure out what the best strategy would be for that. Um, but I just want to clarify, why is justice in reverse? We have temperance in reverse. Hmm. Okay, um, can we look at the, why is ace of pentacles here? Knight of swords again. Six of um, pentacles and then the magician in reverse. Yeah, okay, so I'm kind of getting an energy where it's like, I feel like this person... Okay, I do want to say something that's coming through is like they may feel like it's unfair, which I I don't agree with this, but there's a sense of I feel like it's unfair that pile number three is like maybe so upset at me or so dysregulated because it kind of makes me feel like this person is like blaming you for how you feel or it's like they're taking it personally. And like for me, that's kind of a sign of, um, you know, emotional maturity or like that isn't a safe emotional space if someone blames you for how you feel right it's like if you're emotionally dysregulated um oh and I'm also getting in your thoughts there's a sense here of like feeling like this situation might just have to end um because it feels like your person isn't getting it like in your thoughts there's kind of this energy of like I don't know what I have to do like I feel like I've already with temperance in reverse it's like I've already I'm clearly unhappy or like I I've been pushed to this point where like I'm emotionally like not balanced like I'm not doing super well and it's like this this person still isn't getting my message and it's like here it's like this person is feeling like almost like it isn't fair that yeah, this is like a little bit, I'm, I, I'm not going to, I'm not judging this. I just want to give you guys accurate information because I'm getting this sense that it's not like this person cares about you. Let me just say that this person does care about you. Um, but they almost, it, it's like a blow to their ego if you aren't happy. And so instead of like making adjustments and, and like listening and being like receptive to you, it's almost like this person it's like they're not in their feminine energy essentially like they're they're in their masculine energy it's like they want to do something so we have the knight of swords we have three knights here and like knights are all about like taking some kind of action it's like this person wants to do something to fix things um maybe they want to like offer you like something they're trying to it feels like they're trying to figure out what they should say to you or what they should do um but with the magician in reverse, it kind of feels like a little bit manipulative here because it's like they need to add another ingredient into the situation. But I feel like they're trying to solve the problem in the at the same level it was created. And I feel like there's this sense of um, I am hearing this thought process. So I just want to like be honest with you. There's kind of a I'm hearing this energy of like. I don't get like why pile number three is like, is like upset, like that they feel like things aren't like fair, you know, like I, I'll do so much for them. Like I would do anything for them. Like I have done, I have given them a lot, like, um, but, and so the magician is in reverse here. Cause it's almost like this person would want to like say to you with the eight of wands, it's like, they want to talk, talk, talk and, and say all these things and almost like convince this reminds me of like me when I was like really young in a sense, or like, when I used to be like, I used to try to like persuade when I was younger, like my parents said no to something, like I would have a hard time like letting it go. And I feel like I would just kind of like, like come up with a presentation of like why we should do this. Right. You know, and then it, it would kind of be charming and like get them to like open back up to me. Or it's like, even if someone was mad, it's kind of like, it, there's a sense here though, that this person, it, it's a little bit immature because they're not, um,
like maybe what you need is to be heard, right? Like maybe what you need is to be validated. Like, and I feel like there's kind of a sense of this person not recognizing that it's not fair to you to feel like hurt by you being hurt, right? And then, oh, now I'm at, I'm hearing right now, like I can be blue, I can be violet sky, I can be, uh, and so there's kind of this energy of like, well, I can be what you need me to be. Like I'm this magician in reverse. I can say whatever I need to say. And it's not coming through like in a super narcissistic way. It's more coming through in like an immature, like overly fiery kind of an energy where it's like, no, like just if they could see like, and for me, this kind of reminds, like, I feel like for me, like, cause I'm, I'm a Leo and I feel like sometimes my fire energy in the past has been, um, like I've learned to be more like grounded. And I feel like this person is like lacking a sense of grounding where it's almost like they think they really lean on their sense of like passion and their sense of like persuasion and like charisma. And like, sometimes though, they just have to be humble and like actually make certain adjustments instead of trying to make themselves like indispensable to a person. It's like, it's almost like they're, they're not realizing that what you might need is something that's a lot less, um, they don't need, like, they could probably just listen to you and make certain adjustments, but instead they kind of, it's too much of a hit on their ego where it's like they can't just admit that maybe they do need to change or maybe that their past behavior hasn't been right and it's like it's almost this energy of like okay well like I guess like I guess it made you feel that way like I don't agree that what I did was wrong but I guess I can do it this way like if you want that if you're like making me do that you know there's kind of an energy of like putting the blame on you or making you kind of feel like um they're just willing to do so much and it's like I don't get like, and like with, with uh, justice in reverse, again, for some of you, this could be like a divorce situation or a breakup, just, just saying, or like a situation where that is like on the table. Um, yeah. And it's like, I kind of, it's like, they want another chance in their feelings. They want another chance, but their feelings are also not super tuned into you and like what do I need to do like I it, there's a lack of like I feel bad that my person's feeling this way it's more like I'm kind of taking their presence in my life for granted a little bit or like I am too stubborn to come out of my own mindset to really figure out what the situation needs we have the empress in reverse there all right so we also have Leo energy here um, on the left side. So this person could have Leo in their chart. You could. All right. Oh, and I'm just hearing, um, I just want to go where love is alive. The, I'm, the tune was wrong, but like love is alive. Um, yeah. And you guys might just be feeling like there's like a lack of like compassion or like love kind of here, or like abundance in gentleness. I feel like you guys want gentleness. I'm just looking at these deers. Or like, it's not like you guys only want that. It's just like, I feel like there's a need for more balance. And there's a need to integrate what's wrong. Like, like there's a sense here of like something that's wrong in the connection or something that's causing a blockage is like not resolving the problem because we're not fully integrating it. Like, I feel like this person's like putting a cover up or, or trying to avoid getting the root of it and like really adjusting. Cause like temperance is all about, okay, like we're going to add this ingredient and now we're going to like bring it into balance. Like, okay, there's this new information. Now we're going to kind of like change, you know, we're going to flow with that. It's like more of a flowing energy where we're, we're um, taking the time to make sure that we fully integrated whatever new ingredient there is. And so a new ingredient could be like, let's say that you, it's almost like having a fight with a person and you come to a resolution. If you don't integrate that and, and actually make the changes, then it's going to keep coming up again and again. Right. It's like, it's, it's, there's a need when it comes to problem solving to go a layer deeper and, um, make sure that you're really understanding what that change is and applying it to everything. Right it's not just like in this one situation. It's like, no, like, do you get the concept of it? So, you know, we can like work on this over time. And it's like, you need to see practical evidence of that. 
And it's like, I feel like the way this person can be can just sometimes like make you feel like you're not being heard or listened to or like, yeah. All right. What does pile number three currently want when it comes to this connection? All right, we have the Knight of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like you guys want this person to come through in a sensitive and charming and kind of like a romantic way. Like, I feel like you want sensitivity from this person, this connection. And I feel like you want to be honored within your sensitivity. Yeah, we have the Empress in Reverse. I feel like you guys honestly want more, um, you want more emotional compatibility in general, but also like with this person, like, I just feel like there's a sense of, I want there to be like, I want more romance. Like I want there to be, um, I just feel like you have needs that this person isn't fulfilling and you may be like, this person may feel like it's unfair, like what you want or something, but I, I'm definitely not feeling that way. Um, okay, what else does pile number three currently want? We have death, yeah. You guys want change regardless. It's like, there's a sense of either this situation needs to literally completely transform, like we need to change shape and form. Like the, the way it's working now is not working or you guys want to move on and you want a new situation. I feel like you're just ready to move past this kind of energy. Yeah. Okay. So we have nine of pentacles here. I feel like for you guys, you may want to be, you may honestly be interested in being single or like, I feel like you guys want to feel your own worth. I feel like this. Okay. Yeah. I just feel like there's a sense of like your feminine energy, not being honored and respected and appreciated and noticed is what I would say. And so there's just this sense of like, well, if you're not going to see my value and you're not going to reflect that back to me, like, I want to let go and like, I want to stand in that on my own. Like, I don't need you to, if you're not going to give that to me, it doesn't mean that I can't like give that to myself. And so I feel like there's an energy here of like deep, like, and maybe, I don't know how conscious it is that you guys want this, but I do feel like, I feel like you guys want something different. And I feel like you guys want, um, I think you guys, what you truly want and like what you're searching for in this person that they're not giving you is maybe like your own internal, like recognition of your worth and beauty and value. And it's like this person not showing you that I feel like is intensifying this need to like find it on your own then. Um, and it's like, if there's this internal desire that's growing within you to show that to yourself and then like have that reflected back to you. Okay, so what does pile number three's person currently want? We have the ten of wands in reverse. All right, I see that. Okay, let me just fix the camera. Cool. What does pile number three's person currently want? We have the star in reverse. We have the knight of swords. We have the tower in reverse and then we have the six of wands in reverse okay and there's kind of this like dramatic energy like I feel like this is the kind of person where it's like if they don't get like if they realize like you're not gonna this is like frustrating me because I feel like there's an energy here of like okay like if pile number three isn't gonna budge on like my arguments and like what I'm trying to say but they're invalidating what you honestly need and want there's kind of an energy of like, okay, well then I don't see a future. Like there's kind of an energy of like, okay, well then I guess we'll just, um, we'll let this situation like crumble then. Like with the Knight of Swords, there's kind of like this quick acting energy where it's like, it's almost like they kind of want to be like, okay, well I'm done. Like I'm kind of seeing like this energy of like, okay, I'm done. And then it's like them rushing away and like letting there be this like tower moment. But there's this sense of, um, them being like, well, I don't feel seen because there's such an energy here of like you not feeling seen like that, that being an aspect of this. And then this person being like, well, because you don't feel seen, I don't feel seen for all that I do. And so it's like, there's just like this struggle of this person's ego and you being like, it's not even about you as a deficit. It's that this is just like, I can't ignore that. I want this, you know, like that. I want that. I want this. And if, if you can't give that to me, it's not, I'm not insulting you. It's that it's not an insult for someone to tell you their needs. Um, 
because that's just like how mature relationships end up working is like you can't predict someone else's needs and you're never going to be like a perfect match for someone. And so there's just this like misunderstanding of this person. It's almost like this energy of like, well then like this wasn't the relationship I thought it was, you know, if that's how you feel kind of. And it's like, that doesn't, that just doesn't really feel fair personally, in my opinion. Um, yeah, the star reverse, it's like, okay, well then I don't see a future. I don't, there's an energy here of like, it's too much work to have to adapt and like change. It's like this person doesn't want to change their ways. With the Knight of Swords, they're so, I definitely think this is the kind of person who can act really quickly and like passionately and, and like almost aggressively sometimes. Um, and like, I think there's kind of a destructive energy that this person's in where it's like, okay, well then let's just destroy everything then. And it's, it's very immature. Um, and it's not to say though that I think that this person like doesn't have like any value or anything. I, I know I didn't say that, but I'm just saying that like I think this person does have a lot going for them too. Like the King of Wands came out, um, and like this person might even feel like pile number three should just fight with me, or like pile number three should just be in this Queen of Wands energy or something, or like. But it's like it feels like there's this Queen of Cups energy on the left side, right? And it's like, maybe that isn't like what works for you. Like, it's just possible that this person's like style, they need to learn that they need to accept you as you are. And it's like, if you're not this like fiery kind of like fighter type energy, it's like, yeah, there's kind of a sense of feeling like, well, why do you have to get emotional about this or so deregulated? Like, I'm just saying my point. Why do you have to take that personally? I'm kind of getting an energy of like, why are you being sensitive? It's like, you should just like fight back with me. Like, well, I don't, it's almost like saying like, I don't like the way you spoke to me. And it's like, well, then why don't, why aren't you able to like say it back to me like that? Then we'd be balanced, you know? Yeah. And, and with the six of cups here, it could be that this person like has a conflict resolution style that's very rooted in their childhood. Like maybe there was a lot of like fighting in their family or, and so like, I feel like when there's typically when people grow up with it being like a normal thing where they hear like parents like fighting and then it just being completely fine. Or like they fought a lot with their parents and like, it was just like a back and forth thing. Like, I feel like I've been around other families where like, it's like, they don't even care if other people are around. It's like, they're just going to like very openly like fight. And it's like kind of awkward when other people are like there, but they just, it's so normalized. And I feel like this person's coming from that perspective. And so I feel like there's just different perspectives where it's like, to speak for this person, like, I think that they probably absorb this way of being as, like, a way that they, like, had to be. Like, in their family, like, they they probably felt like they had to fight back or, like, they couldn't just, like, be sensitive and, like, show that that was, like, hurting them. Like, their parents wouldn't change. So there's kind of, like, this absorbed kind of an energy where it's, like, they maybe need to learn how to be a little bit more sensitive. Um, and, like, I, but I do feel like this person is not in intentionally trying to hurt you. Um, it's just like a, a lack of ability to understand that like you're coming from a, a different perspective and like background than them. So it might not feel the same as it feels for them. So, and same with like this person, like, I feel like what I would say to you though, about them is like, it, I think it is coming from a place. I do think this person cares about you, but I do think there are problems as well, but, but I do sense that it's like, this is a part of like who this person is kind of. And it's not always meant to be hurtful is what I would say, but that doesn't mean it's okay. That doesn't mean that like you don't have the right to feel the way you feel. It's just saying that I do think that, that this person can maybe sometimes feel very like flabbergasted because maybe they didn't mean for something to come out so painful or to come out like so hurtful or uncomfortable and intense or something. It's like this person might not know, like they, they might be a lot less sensitive and aware of like the way that it could impact another person that isn't like that, if that makes sense. So that, that's what I would say to like bring just like some final words to this, but we're going to now be looking into the extended. We're going to be seeing the future of this connection. Where is it headed? How are you going to be feeling about this person in the future? How are they going to be feeling about you in the future? Um, and then we will pull some messages from your person and get you guys both some advice for the end. So I will have that link down below. Again, if you guys resonated with this and you want future readings to resonate more closely, hitting the like button, leaving a comment, subscribing are all ways you can do that. 
So thank you guys so much for your time, for your energy, your support. I really enjoyed reading for you and I hope to connect with you again soon.